Coach Kyle here, and I wanted to do a quick video about how to run the Mount Rushmore Half Marathon. And let's switch over to their website here, the Vacation uh, Races website. And if you go to vacationraces.com, and if you click on the Mount Rushmore Half, you see this and you might recognize this guy right there. These are actual, actual scenes from the course. Hold on. Yeah, this is cool. Where's Mount Rushmore? So, beautiful, this is where I live. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to go through a little bit about how to run the course. And some general information, the race will start in Keystone in South Dakota. It's about a half hour drive from where I live in Rapid City. In the, in the Black Hills, uh, it's a small mountain range forest in Western South Dakota, uh, a little bit in Wyoming. Um, you will gain about 200 feet in the first mile as you climb up towards Mount Rushmore. This is a challenging course with lots of gorgeous views of Mount Rushmore and the surrounding Black Hills. The finish line will be on the front lawn of Ghost Canyon Dude Ranch, where you will find a beer garden, hot food, and an excellent place to sit back and be happy you don't have to climb that mountain anymore. It's a good course. So I wanted to, here is the course map, let's see, let's Let's go full screen here. Come on, Matt My Run. Did you know Matt My Run was bought by Under Armour? So, I didn't go as full screen as I expected. <laughs> what does this button do? There we go. Let's zoom in on Keystone. So it starts just in Keystone. It's it's almost uh, fully um, on the road. I think they're closing off both lanes. So, I mean, I think they'll have like a few thousand runners and they're closing off both lanes. So if you if we zoom in on here in Keystone, it starts in this little like gifts, gift shop, little museum. There's a museum there. Uh, parking lot and it goes up past the nat past the National Presidential Wax Museum. They're better replicas than Disney has. Iron Mountain Road right here, mile one. Let's get the, where is the elevation? So you'll see that the first five miles is gonna be an uphill and it, I had somebody direct message me, I think on Facebook, and they're like, hey, we live in Wisconsin, can you give us any tips for running this race? We don't have a lot of hills to train on. But honestly, yes, the first five miles is pretty pretty well uphill, but any good race execution would be taking this first five miles pretty slow, pretty relaxed. And then you kind of just hammer it for the last downhill, uh, two thirds of the race. So if anything, I recommend it to this person, work on downhill running, um, do like downhill strides, do downhill tempo runs, do instead of doing a track workout on the track, do it on a downhill section. Cause most people don't run hard downhill for six, seven miles. So after a few miles of that, it's, your legs are gonna be pretty toast. Um, that downhill is hard because your legs are extending, but they're also breaking at the same time. It's called an eccentric uh, movement and they make you sore. So that's why downhill races are, are fast, but they leave you so sore because you're not used to running downhill, especially on pavement, that long, that hard. So do, do the, the bi-weekly downhill type workout. If you have a treadmill that goes downhill, that might have to do. But uh, as you see, you get pretty close to Mount Rushmore. You can't actually run 
in the actual monument grounds. There's just nowhere to run. Uh, Mount Rushmore is right here, parking and everything. But and the national parks or monuments, whatever, are really strict on all this stuff. I had no idea. But uh, the views are good. The Black Hills is a beautiful place. Um, the the area in general is is great for tourism. Being in South Dakota, it's cheaper <laughs> and less busy than going to like Denver or somewhere where you're going to go out on the trail and you're going to see a hundred people. Um, I'm a fan. I, I live here. It's fantastic. But the best advice I can give you for uh, training for the Mount Rushmore Half Marathon is the downhill running. Um, it's The weather's probably going to be okay. It might be a little warm. It's only half marathon, so it's not like you're going to be out there for five hours uh, where it's really going to get hot. Um, Rapid City, where I live, is where the airport is. And it's an easy drive from the airport into Rapid City. Literally, you take one turn and then you drive straight and you're into Rapid City. And it's also an easy drive from Rapid City to Keystone. So Keystone, uh, I don't know. I know the, 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 the twisted half runners, or what, what, the group that travels to these vacation races, they took out, they took out a lot of hotel rooms. So I don't know what's going to be left in Keystone, but Rapid has a ton of hotels. Um, and it's an easy drive and Rapids were all the, there's a lot of good food in Rapid City. So, um, I would recommend staying in Rapid. It's kind of a good central location. It's close to the airport. Uh, Keystone's an easy drive. The elevation, what is the elevation? It starts at a 40, come on, 4,400. I mean, yes, that's some elevation, but it's not like you're running up at 10,000 feet. So uh, honestly, people, if you don't live at elevation, there's nothing you can do about it. I live at 3,500 feet or so. Um, 4,500, it's not that bad. Uh, the hill is going to be the, your, your biggest concern, maybe the, the heat, depending on the day. But don't worry about it. Don't stress out about it. Uh, if there's nothing you can do about it, then there's nothing you can do about it. But it's going to be a great race. It's a great location. Um, it's going to be fun run so what else could i tell you about about this race in particular uh where to fly you know where to stay keystone there's a lot of great stuff around the area um training we're pleased to share with you free training programs Blah. uh if you want a customized training schedule hit me up below um i'll give i'll give 25 percent off to anybody that comes that comes to me uh, looking to train for this race particularly. September 22nd is the date, day before my birthday. Turn the big 3-1. <laughs> um, the price goes up March 11th. So 99 bucks for a vacation race is a good deal. Um, these guys put on some spectacular events. If you've not seen the medals for these events, they are awesome. Uh, I've had athletes do do uh, Teton, Joshua Tree, Yellowstone. They do a good job. Vacation Races does a really good job with their their um, their medals. Their race experience is spectacular. So um, 99 bucks is a deal. It goes up to 150. Uh, I'll put a link below, or I'll put a code below for 15% off as well. So there's always that. But yeah, let me know in the comments, um, kylecrans.com, there's a contact button on there. If you have any specific questions about training for this race, um, I'm, I'm, I live here, that's me in the, in the promo video. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I'll answer them below in the comments and via email. And if you want to buy a training schedule specifically for this event, I'll give you 25% off. So thanks and I hope to talk to you soon.